Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So I have a very beautiful uh, variegated uh, string of tears. Uh, the variegation is not much present on this. Uh, overall it looks very green and then I had one bloom that was coming up but uh, the next new blooms that are coming up you can see this we have a group of apids and mealybugs together that is the worst to happen. Uh, two worst bugs together enjoying on the bloom so I'll have to get rid of the blooms and this side as well you can see uh, there is a huge amount of uh, mini bugs you can see this the biggest one so we have uh, the bigger mini bugs over here and then when I'm gonna turn it around on the other side I have uh, the apids and uh, so this is the issue so this is the issue of keeping blooms that is the worst part so what I can do is uh, just get rid of those blooms right away and that's gonna solve your problem for time being I'm gonna cut off this bloom as well I don't want it so I'm gonna keep it aside and uh, I think there is another bloom I will get rid of that also I don't want any blooms so that I don't have any visitors uh, on this because uh, my plant is doing quite well um, it was a very small one if you remember in the other video uh, but it has grown quite a bit uh, we also have uh, so I had basically turned it around and put it in this spot so so I can't move this because they have put up roots uh, let me take out this weed there you see the another culprit the ant they are the worst so there are some there is one ant actually and uh, I had put this strand in this uh, pot it is not going to be visible because of the weeds but uh, I had put this strand so this is the strand I wish I had put it out like uh, how I did it for this guy uh, it was out uh, so I should have uh, moved it outside the pot because now when I'm trying to lift it up it's kind of stuck but I think I'll be able to manage it so guys I have uh, taken it out from the soil and when I took it out from the soil I could see that uh, there was one root I had just kept it around and I forgot about it and it just laid in that so it has put out a root so now that I've taken it out uh, I have this very bad urge of doing a propagation and cutting it off so I think I'll do it right away before I change my mind uh, because I really love uh, string of tears they look absolutely beautiful and uh, now that I have a, a ready-made root already so I don't have any issues of uh, propagating it so I'm gonna cut it right over here so we have the other one that is gonna be hanging out and this one was just starting off so I'm gonna leave this one out like this so that it can further grow and uh, this is our cutting uh, looks absolutely healthy all of the pearls are very well hydrated and the root also looks very healthy so I have my soil mix over here now it is the same type of soil mix that I tend to use for my succulents but in this I tend to increase uh, the ratio of soil a little bit because uh, they prefer a little slight moisture in the soil but not soggy wet soil the container also has a drain hole and it is a plastic container probably it must be like around two inches uh, not more than that because it's a small food container so now I will uh, just make a hole in between of uh, the soil and this root I am going to just push it in very simple and then I'm just going to cover it up and uh, now the soil is completely bone dry so I don't have to be worried there is a cut which will heal just in a day because the stem is very uh, thin or uh, very fine of uh, the string of pearls the stem is very very uh, thin so it tends to uh, dry up very fast so now the root is completely inside the soil uh, and the soil is completely dry so I don't have to be worried so now over the period of time it will start to grow uh, I will definitely make a video on it but as of now it is going to be resting uh, it is going to be kept in indirect bright light any which ways all of the strings I prefer to keep them in indirect bright light uh, apart from uh, ruby necklace uh, for ruby necklace I tend to give a good amount of uh, morning sun around uh, four, uh, three to four hours morning sun because they tend to change color and they can uh, withstand uh, more sunlight that's absolutely okay but especially the ones that are green and the variegated ones I prefer to keep them in indirect bright light uh, direct sunlight has not worked out really well in my environment so I avoid keeping them in direct sunlight 
so this is going to be kept in indirect bright light uh, watering is not going to be done now probably after a week or so because uh, the pearls are also very well hydrated and uh, I don't see any wrinkles. In case if I tend to see wrinkles, I, I might probably water before that one week uh, time frame. But uh, if there are no wrinkles, I will wait until the wrinkles appear because that is going to give me an idea that uh, uh, it is looking out for water. But as of now, it's going to be kept aside. So guys, that's all about it. It's pretty simple to uh, propagate your uh, string of tears. Um, you just ensure that your soil mix is loose, porous and well draining. And uh, do not let the soil dry out completely. If you are worried when to water and when not to water, uh, the leaves itself will give you an indication. Whenever you tend to see that uh, uh, the leaves are getting shriveled up, you can go ahead and water it. That indicates that it is thirsty. So as you can see, it was pretty simple to propagate them. And as and when the plant tends to mature, the pearls will, uh, sorry, the tears will start to get little bit more plump and bigger. Right now, because it's a very small one, so the pearl, the tears are going to be very small. But over the period of time, the tears will start to plump up. And here you can see there's a little bit of variegation on uh, this one. I initially thought that this was the regular variety, but there is a little bit of variegation. So this is the variegated one. Uh, I'm okay even if it tends to revert back to green because here I can see it's more green compared to the other one. But uh, even if it tends to revert to green, which is absolutely normal, a lot of times plants tend to revert back to green color. Uh, there is nothing much we can do. Uh, but always ensure that if you have a plant that is variegated, give it a good amount of light. Uh, do not keep them in a very uh, low light kind of a condition. Uh, if you keep any plant that has variegation, if you keep it in a place where it doesn't get a lot of light, uh, the plant will start to revert back to green. So if you want to keep that, maintain that variegation, you have to offer a good amount of uh, light, indirect bright light, because if you're going to keep a variegated plant in direct sunlight, there is a high chance that the variegation might get burnt. So that's all about it, guys. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.